today's debate is about should benefits go up by inflation. Where are you on that? Listen, I, I you know, I was actually quite clear in my um, uh, in my leadership campaign that I wanted to cut welfare spending. I think we have far too many people in this country who are fit to work, who are able to work, and should be working. Um, and they 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 choose they choose to top up their salaries with tax credits, or they uh, you know the benefit street uh, kind of culture. I think does is a feature of modern Britain. Is that still alive now? Yeah. So uh, I, I, think it, I think that culture does exist. In my constituency in Fareham, I've got people here in Fareham, local councillors, and they will, they will confirm that even in Fareham, on, in sunny, leafy Hampshire, the, the south know, there, east, are pockets, possible south east. there are pockets of communities where families have known nothing else but welfare. And Universal Credit did an amazing job of moving people off welfare and into work. But I think there is still a stubborn core of our population that sees welfare as the go-to option and is not motivated for financial or other reasons to get out there and work. And I think the stick, we've got, we've got lots of carrots. We've got lots of carrots to get people into work, but we've got to actually add more conditionality to the way we administer welfare uh, and more, a bit more stick to ensure that it actually pays for people to get off welfare and into work. That's ultimately what is going to bring prosperity. It's not welfare and being you know, trapped by benefits. It's actually being empowered. Uh, you know, it, it's, more, it's more than you, you know, your paycheck. It's, it's about being part of a team. It's about doing something industrious. It's about doing something for the greater good. Work is a great salvation, and I think it's a great liberator. Uh, and, and I think culturally, we still have to get that message across to millions of people in this country. So my view then was, yes, we need to cut welfare spending. However, right now, I, do, I, I, I have to say, you know, the question is under review. I take on board what Penny Morden has said, but I know the question is under review. We, we also need to support the most vulnerable. We are not a cruel party. We are here to support people through tough times, and that's exactly what the safety blanket of welfare is there to do. So to now is not the time to go to do a, a below inflation rise in benefits? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to take a view. I, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting right. on the fence, which is very unsatisfactory for all of you, I, I know. But uh, the question is under review. Yeah. That is what the Prime Minister has said. I think um, I'm going to support her in exploring yeah. this and issue. Give her space to make it. Yes, and that's what I want. I'm not going to make policy up. It's not helpful for Penny Mordon to give a view out so early on in the debate. Listen, we're all politicians. We've all okay. got views. It's very hard.